Hello, beautiful beings of light. How are y'all this fine evening? Um, so I wanted to hop on. Um, are we really ready to get out of this lockdown, this quarantine, this pandemic? Are we? Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I've heard the stay safe and are, have you been staying safe? Staying safe? Staying safe? All these like staying safe? Stay safe. No, you and your family stay safe. All this like freaking like, like what is safe? I mean, this is all an illusion. Like, are we really ready to get out of this lockdown? Have any of y'all like figured out what this purpose of this whole thing is? It's to get you to look inward. It's to get you to figure out who the heck you are and what you want in this world. It's a gift. This time is a gift. How have you used it? Stay safe. Are you staying safe? Are you staying safe? Are you, are you keeping cooped up in fear? That's what it's saying when people are asking you, are you staying safe? Um, this whole thing, like, you know, oh, I'm ready to get back to normal. Just can't wait till things get back to normal. Are we? Back to what? Like, what was it before? Was it, was it this world of bliss, utopia? Everybody so happy-go-lucky because they're just so happy with their lives and their jobs and themselves? Really? I mean, I, you know, I get, you know, people are dying and getting sick. I understand that. I understand that. And that's very sad. But look at the big picture. Are you guys not looking at the big picture? And I know like my, my audience, I love y'all. I'm just, I'm, I'm venting. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I take it back. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Um, but are we really, yes, it's this great awakening. Like I keep saying that in my videos, this great awakening, this cleansing, this da da da. But how many people are really waking up? I mean, I don't think we're ready to go off of lockdown. Am I going bored out of my mind sometimes? Sure. But I I mean, but at the same time, like, holy cow, like I've learned how to set boundaries, how to eliminate some toxic people in my life. I've learned how to be by myself and, and be quiet and silent and be comfortable with that. Um, I mean, you know, fear, it's, it's false evidence appearing real, right? Fear. Like you turn the news on. Oh, during these uncertain times, every commercial says during these uncertain times, during these uncertain times, we got to blah, blah, blah. Really? It's just driving fear. That's all it's doing. That's all everybody's doing is fear, 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 fear of, of not having enough money, um, losing their job. And I get it. People have lost their job. Fear, 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 fear. I mean, fear of death, fear of getting this disease, fear of, of everything everything this social distancing thing people are like oh go to social distance go to social distance oh you're, you're you're too close to me here you're six oh one more foot away it's like you guys hello this is all an illusion an illusion and a gift okay i mean back to normal it'll never be back to normal you don't want that who wants that who wants the normal the old normal um, wearing masks, um, staying safe. I mean, you could wear a mask. You could take every action to stay safe and still get the coronavirus. You could, I mean, it's anything is possible. Okay. I mean, I've been in fear. I've gone through every emotion. I think every, a lot of people are it's testing people. What this is doing, it's testing people. It's pushing people to their limits. People are, are cooped up inside. They can't do anything. And they're losing their minds, some of them. Some are actually looking inward and finding themselves and seeing, you know, the beauty of this whole experience. I almost said experiment, but it is definitely an experiment, isn't it? Um, you know, I mean... The normal, I mean, things are going to be different. I mean, you know, it's things are going to change. And I don't believe, in my humble opinion, I don't think we're ready yet. Everybody's ready yet. I mean, I've been reading books. I still have more books I want to read. Um, 
I've been, you know, looking inward, learning about essential oils. I've been learning about um, how to sleep, uh, sleep hypnosis, um, you know, um, how to calm my mind. I've been practicing meditation. I created a meditation space. I've been keeping my place clean. I've been looking at my finances. I've been um, looking at my health. I've been looking and analyzing and, and, and you know, self-awareness. And I've been asking questions and, and um, just wanting to learn about the world, about um, science, about energy, about vibration, about, about people, about things, about places. I mean, like, I have just such this, like, deep desire, this burning desire right now to learn and grow and, and, to, and to be in nature. Like I, I've gone outside, I have to go outside every day to just be in nature. It just feels so comforting to be in nature. Um, people are, you know, saying this could totally change, you know, of course, I mean, we could all be working remote from home for the rest of our lives. I mean, you think coronavirus is gonna just, uh, you think a virus like this is just gonna disappear and be away forever? No. So you gotta face your fear. You gotta look your fear in the freaking face and face it. Um, so I've had a fear since I can remember, like ever since I was little, a uh, fear of like being alone at night sleeping. And I, I have been for for years. I've always had to have like a nightlight on or always something. And it's like, um, I'm, I'm over that fear now. I'm not scared. What's there to be scared of? I mean, Scared of what? Scared, scared of, of death. Scared of being attacked. Scared of, um, scared of what? What am I scared of? You know, and that's how I've looked at things. Like, there's nothing to be scared of. Um. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Not sorry. I'm not sorry. Um. But anyways, so I just um. You know, I want to read something on fear. Here we go. Um. To overcome fear, we must comprehend the real reasons we feel afraid and realize that our fears are pointing to the places within us that need attention. Many humans have taken on the fear-based pred predator mind belief systems or alien mind control for the purpose of consciousness enslavement. That is what's happened. We are being enslaved. Our rights are being stripped. Everything, we are being, we Oh my God. <laughs> All people that indulge in unrestrained and uncorrected negative emotional states of fear will attract demonic or dark spirits, which generate energetic blockages and cords in our light body. So we're going to attract all this negative negativity and, and, um, fear, hatred, just negative, um, emotions, all of that, which, which, you know, is good to bring to the surface. Um, I think it's great. Um, I've been seeing lots of people bringing negative emotions to the surface um, and, you know, maybe not learning the lesson. That, so it's going to keep repeating, but that's, that's what it, okay. Back to what I was reading here. Um, each person is choosing if they want to exist in spiritual bondage or freedom. What do you want? Do you want to be enslaved in our houses, in our apartments, in our, in our communities, in our countries? Do you want to be enslaved? Is that what you want? You want to wear a mask forever? You want to social distance forever? You want to hide behind technology forever? I mean, do you really want that? I don't. Now is the time. It's true. Now is the ascension. We're bringing heaven to earth. It's now, how hard are you willing to fight for that? Are you willing to face your fears? Are you willing to get to know yourself? Are you willing to be uncomfortable in this time for your growth. Are you? Are you? I've noticed people lashing out at people, um, people blaming people. Um, oh, I wanted to read something. Uh, this is really good, ready? Blaming, blaming. People blame in areas where they are not truly fulfilled, okay? Sorry, I'm sidetracking. Those unhappy in work lives blame their coworkers. Those unhappy at home, blame their partners. Those who are unhappy with their past, blame their family. Those who lack confidence, blame their circumstances. Those who lack self-worth, blame themselves. Blame, 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 blame. 
We've done nothing. I mean, that's the thing. We can't blame anyone who blames is not happy. That's what it comes down to. So blame, fear, anxiety, stress, uncertainty, all of this, all it does is it just keeps you from growing and evolving. I mean, it's time for an evolution, for, for a beautiful ascension on this planet of humanity. And we're, we're, and I'm generalizing, we're just sitting at home ready to go to Ulta. <laughs> okay, I have said that. Or, I mean, or binge watching, binge watching pointless fear instilling shows and news. And I mean, I don't get it. It's like, it's like, don't, that, don't people see this by now? Like, fear, 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 fear. I'm tired of it. Switch it. Love, love. I mean, forgive people. Find love in your heart. Can this happen? Can we do this? Is this a thing? Can this happen? Yeah. Um, just some notes here. Like, so are, like, you know, we've been, we've been attached to all these illusions. Are we really waking up right now? Is this the awakening? I mean, yes, it is. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just, po 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 I'm poking. It's a poke night. Okay. I'm poking. Um, we've been controlled by the fear of consequences. So what if I decide to do this? What if I be this? What if I have this? What if I fail? You know, we're scared. And that's how we're programmed from birth. From when we were born, that's what we were programmed to be scared. And I, I, I mean, of course, you need to take caution and be, you know, um, be cautious and not be reckless and things like that. But th the two separate, two separate things. We're not going to go there. Um, but all of these fears have kept us in this box. The matrix. Okay. The matrix. Those in control. They want us in that box. I don't fit in a box, nope. which has kept us stuck, okay? So we're so attached to the information that our five senses have given us for so long that we've come to believe in our own limitations. We have limited ourselves, yes. Um, so right now we're, we're all waking up, hopefully, hopefully bit by bit we're waking up. I mean, you know, you'd have to be, right? <laughs> but... Um, we're asking deeper questions. We're facing, we're facing fears. If you're not, then you should. <laughs> I'm saying this with love. I'm saying this with love. This is the time to look yourself in the mirror and say, who am I? Who do I want to be? What do I want out of life? What is my truth? Um, years from now, when we're back to normal and we're socializing again, um, you're going to, um, you know, corporate events or, um, job interviewing, people are going to say, what did you do during the coronavirus in 2020 during the lockdown? Some will say, I just watched Netflix all day, played video games, um, uh, went crazy. I don't know. Um, got a divorce. I don't know. I mean, and some will say, you know what? I realized I wasn't living my truth. I realized I wasn't taking care of my finances. I wasn't taking care of my health. I wasn't taking care of my emotions. I wasn't feeling emotions. I was on autopilot. I realized I was living a job that wasn't me, a purpose that wasn't me. I realized I was gambling at the biggest risk of all, that in the future, I will be able to buy back the time I wasted. But some will say I used that time, that energy, that uncertainty, that fear. I channeled that energy into creativity. I lost 10 pounds. I started eating healthy. I started my own business. I learned a new skill. I mastered a skill. I um, was one that didn't lose my job. I, didn't, I did not get laid off. I did not lose my job. This is the time to realize that this is a gift. This whole coronavirus ordeal experiment, experience, time, pandemic, pandemic, whatever. It's all a gift. How are you using it? You create your reality. You create your happiness. You choose, Happiness is a choice. This is a time for mind over matter to grow in health, in happiness, in love, to make an impact in your life, in humanity's life. When you grow spiritually, emotionally, the world does. So the most important thing, and I get this now. It took me a while to get this, okay? But the most important thing, the only thing we can do is work on ourselves, help ourselves, 
That is what will help the world. That is what will help everybody is if we help ourselves, get to know ourselves, find our truth, love ourselves. That's what it is. And then one day, you know, when there will be a day that we face, face death. I mean, death, it's a part of life. Okay. It's a part of life, you know, um, you know, but when that day comes, we can, you know, look in the mirror and right before, you know, say, I'm proud of who I was. I'm happy with the effort that I gave life. I'm proud of my bravery, of my courage. And when that happens, that clears all the karma, all karma ever. You know, I did what I came to do. I didn't allow fear to control me. I'm proud of who I was and what I did in my life. That's what we are all having to do. You know, it's time to, it's time to connect to ourselves. I mean, I have, I'm so proud of myself through this time. I mean, I have, I have accomplished so many things. I have spoken up. I've stuck up for myself to people that have, you know, just belittled me, talked down to me, said mean things to me. I've stuck up for myself. I've stepped in my power. I created boundaries. I've created, I've, I've become aware. I've become resilient. Um, I have found forgiveness in my heart. I mean, in so many ways, I've forgiven myself. Um, anyways, that's my rant. I love y'all. I hope y'all take this and don't think that I'm trying to be negative. Um, but you know, this fear, fear is our friend. There we go. Fear is our friend. Are you looking at it like that? Are you looking at it like your friend? I do now. Fear's my old buddy, old pal. <laughs> Me and fear, we're like, we're like BFF now. Okay. It's time to face fears. Get a pen and paper out. Turn the TV off. Be alone. Be alone with yourself. What are you scared of? What are you scared of? Why? There's no reason. What's the worst that can happen? That's what we got to think about. I love y'all. Have a wonderful night. Mwah!